Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming. Today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we play with Japan, Bicycle for Freedom thingy. Um, I would have a war goal available against nobody. It says China, but this is Communist China and I do not have a war goal already against them. So it's a bit weird, that's still kind of bugged out. I do, however, have my... Uh, troops ready in position uh, the only thing is if I go to war with the uh, with it says here though I have a war goal but I can't declare war so that's a bit weird and also they are in a faction with Japan uh, with Russia so that would be kind of <laughs> I could uh, actually fabricate a war goal against uh, Shanxi which could kind of help. Uh, war propaganda against the Soviet Union. We don't need any war propaganda. We are good on that. Uh, we could develop some stuff like... Uh, aluminium. 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 We could also do an anti-communist sweep. But uh, we do not have any communists in our... Stuff, we are doing warrior spirit right now, which will lead to kamikaze strikes, yeah. And then, strengths of the wind, uh, we will be able to produce the rocket, the plate rocket. I still haven't decided if I should secure the Philippines or bypass the Philippines. <sighs> That's the big question here. If I secure the Philippines, I will be at war with the US, though. Uh, how is the Soviets? Are they at war with anybody? Yeah, but not with the German Reich. The German Reich is just at war with the Allies. So I think I'm going to go against Shanxi for now. It's 130 days, but I can live with that. And we're gonna check in here. We are short on steel quite a bit. So the US should give me some more steel and oil as well. Get some more oil from the US. Yeah, that got rid of everything there. Um, yeah, because if we go to war we will have like... The two ports I have to deal with over here. British Parliament is debating. Uh, my troops are moving around right now. Oh, well actually those are... Manjoku troops which are moving back home. Right, my troops are pretty much in position everywhere. Uh, my bicycle army is training. At some point they will come out and be added to a front because that's the goal of this playthrough, to have a lot of bicycles. I do need much more um, support equipment though. So there we go. Uh, this one we can't do because... yeah. We didn't go down this route. What we could still do is... This one is closed off for me as well, right? Yep. Can't do this one. This one is completely closed, closed off. We could start on construction of planes and stuff. Uh, or secure China. We still need to be at war with the US. For that. Which, at some point, will be nice. Uh, that's actually everything we could do right now. How are we doing construction-wise, anyways? We're producing a lot more military factories right now. Which is okay. I can live with that. Um, this one we can't do. Because we need to do those first. This one we can't do because we need to get the rocket engines first researched. Okay. Um... We could also establish uh, work on our navy. Let's go the air force first, though. Yeah, air force first probably isn't a bad thing. Um, does help me construction helps me construction. Declared war on Iran. Uh, nah. Just leave it at this for right now. 
or propaganda. And I'm short on what again? On steel and oil again. Holy crud. Uh, sure. Is there any steel or oil in the province I'm going to go for attacking here? Uncertain times. Uh, let me check here for a second. There is no resources in here. There would be some steel in communist China. Some aluminium and chromium. But like I said, that will be a war against uh, the Soviet Union. Which is probably a thing we should consider doing. I'd rather have the German Reich though be at war with the Soviet Union before I do that. Uh, that's just Bulgaria and Greece, which is going to go down. And yep. So we are just going to wait for a moment. So the Red Army will be ready to go. Actually, this purple army over here, which is done with its training. Uh, we'll delete your front line. And you get another front line over here. And in order to push in like this. Get in position. There would do such a thing. Yeah, it's just going through. There we go. I do need more of those. More support equipment is needed ASAP. Because that's the thing we're still short on. And that's also the thing we would need if I want to train more bicycles. If I go in here. Uh, well, actually, first of all, go to normal. Default. Uh, yeah, 200 support equipment is needed for that. At some point I probably bump them up to 40, for now I leave them as they are. Oh, Chinese provocation! New details have emerged. Attacks on our soil, okay. Communist China and Annex China uh, demand an apology. I'll just mobilize the troops again. It just refreshes this war goal against this one. And well, we don't get one against Communist China for some reason. That seems to be bucked. Or I did something wrong somewhere. Uh, I'd rather not go to war with the Soviet Union or the Allies. Until... Well, the Allies wouldn't be that bad. Because they are actually at war with Germany. Or with the, with the Axis. But... Well, the US is not yet part of the Allies. Big question is though, if we are going to war, will they join up with the Axis? Because we have a... The Axis do like us quite a bit, right? Yeah. I think we went for the thingy where it works out that they do not hate us immensely. So yeah, we are as a, as a slowly going into the surplus and construction of weaponry, uh, of support equipment. Which just reminds me... How are we doing on planes? Interwar fighters, carrier, carrier fighters. Awesome. Fighter modernization has been done. Vector uh, changes. What this this? I don't, I don't remember what it did. Uh, agility focus, max speed, or range. Reliability. The mm, settle. I think I'm gonna go on this one, this side. Yeah, because I want to get to the zero. I want to get to the zero. Uh huh. Um, I could work on this one still. Or, oh, we are going down this route. Yeah, where would be the zero actually? I think that's the special thing we need to research to get the zero, Mitsubishi. Yeah, I think... <coughs> Sorry about that. I think we're good on that. Could start on nuclear research with this one. Or more construction speed. How is my research slots looking anyways? Weapons... Um, Let's start working on nuclear. Well, actually, how fast construction bonus do we have? 
Construction 10, 1, 2, and 3. Limited exports. <laughs> nope, let's go with construction. Dispersed industry again. War propaganda, we don't really need that. Improved conditions, consumer good factories, weekly stability, we are still good on that. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really special new. We are short on steel and aluminium. Okay. So steel, we're gonna go through that way, and aluminium, we are actually gonna go and get through one of the, those decisions. Uh, sure. Actually, do two of those decisions, which should lead to enough aluminium in 60 days. Um, anything I want to put in here? We are on total mobilization. Why? Uh, war economy will total mobilization. War economy. Huh? Construction st speed is plus 30. Consumer goods factory is just 10%. Yeah, leave it at that then. Uh, in here I wanted to check. Uh... More industrialists, definitely, for more construction speed. Partisans and us, for instance, producing activity. Non core manpower plus 2%. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. That should be good. When will this war be going? 26th of November. So we are getting close to that one. Like I said, yeah, the aluminium should change as soon as those. What the hell? There. As soon as those two are done, we should have more than enough aluminium. What for do we need the aluminium anyways right now? Branching... Branch intern operations, okay. Uh, construction, construction. <laughs> for the planes we would need the aluminium. For the tanks we don't. Right? Yeah, just steel. Any aluminium needed in here? Yep, there it is, for the support equipment. Well, we have enough for the support equipment right now. Ship-wise, no aluminium needed. No ship's construction here, no aluminium needed. So it's just for the planes right now we are short on. Um, sure, 10% more breakthrough, why not? That should work out in my favor. It is October, the new plane is ready to go. Which means, whoops, which means we are continuing. Should I get the... Nah. Just get the next level of fighters done. Um, will we switch over? Sure. It's just one factory so far in there. Um, you're not ready yet, right? It was 24th of November. 26th of November, actually. Should be good. Uh, support equipment wise, we are getting there, 600 plus. I think this army is done with its training, yes it is. Very nice, and it is going to stay in mainland Japan for now. Because... <coughs> uh, homeland defense for now. Greece is gone. Oh, the new tank is ready. Uh, I think I'm producing the Nanki 3 already. Uh, 41, so definitely not to continue over here. Uh, because I want to get to the modern tanks as soon as possible, but it's 41 is way too much ahead of time. 1940, we could upgrade our artillery one more time, sure. Better artillery is good, and we have quite a surplus on artillery, yes. We use them quite well everywhere, and I think this army over here, yeah, you can go as well as soon as we are ready to go. That should work out in my favor. Uh, two more days and I can declare the war. There we go. The war goal would be ready to go. Uh, let me check how far this one is. 22 days out. Again, short on steel. Damn it. 
US, give me steel, actually, give me, whoa, no, 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 no. Yeah, let's do that, so it doesn't go down too fast again. There we go, uh, oh, we have unassigned divisions. Which again is Menjuku. Yeah, you're gonna go and go home to your... Uh, you can be part of your own, you can control your own army. Uh, we're gonna declare the war, uh, we don't call in the allies. And we'll see how we're doing here. Uh, you're going to go super aggro mode, right? Yep. Same for you? Yep. I could go bunker buster, if they have any bunkers. Um, I don't really see... What does that do? Siege artillery. Four damage for combat. Four com the combat damage can't chance. Attack plus 20. Plan is pretty much completely done for you. Nah, eh, that should be good. No, those attacks work out nicely, even though they are across the rivers. Pushing in real nice from most of the areas. Oh, they can't attack because I didn't call them into the war yet. I see. Still should work out in my favor, though. Yeah, already took the first capital. Starting to push them back, and I didn't, uh, I didn't call them in because otherwise they would take territory uh, for what is it, Manchuko, and I don't want territory for Manchuko. I want it for myself. Are you completely isolated over here? Yeah, the initial attack was kind of stopped for a short moment, but now they're just being pushed back like... Ah, there it is. Um, 88 points. Probably can't take all at once, right? Liberate Regina? Definitely not. Puppet? No. Take all states? Hey, it actually works. And it's done. There we go. Um... For the zero, we need uh, we need the zero first, and for the zero, we need the air fleet focus first. So, carrier warfare it is. There we go. Uh, Red army, you offensive line around here, and nope, new offense, new defensive line over here on Mongolia. Well, actually, it's quite a big one. Um, just still here. And purple army. It's around that one. Nice. Uh, purple army, yeah, you just push in here somehow. And the red army then gets the order to prepare an attack through Mongolia. That should be right nicely, and again, two divisions, which I do not want to control, so you go back to your own army. That's still the one which is kind of bucked out. We ha do, however, have three military factories. Three, to be exact. And I think... Yeah, you are already at light tank three. I think I want to... Short on steel again. Good on aluminium though, so this, those two things have, are done. Do we want to produce more tanks? Like 900 light tanks right now. Um, 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 um. Nope, I think I'm actually gonna add one more in here. Because more construction of support equipment will be kind of essential. And we are short on steel again. It's just unbelievable how much steel we are using right now. There we go. And do we actually have any tank divisions? I don't believe so. Not yet, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, we do. We have a few. Uh, did we already change them over to be 40 combat with? Yes, we did. I could convert over a couple of horse divisions. Right. Um... 
600 light tanks are needed and I have a surplus of 900, so one horse division can be converted over to a normal tank division. There we go. And if we want to do another one, that would be, we would be short on... Really? Okay. I should be short on tanks. Quite a bit, actually. Ah, there it is. 300 tanks short, yep. Oh, you actually have nothing to choose. Although it's said pick a trade, but those are all... Oh, no. Ooh. You're a cavalry leader, so we could choose either the... Uh, combined arms, motorized defense, mechanized defense, cavalry attack, cavalry defense. I think I'm going for the motorized stuff. Which is nice. And, oh, yeah. New weapons have been researched, so that's going to be switched over right away. Uh, anything else I want to research in here? Probably the anti-tank stuff. Yeah, because Marines is still way ahead of time. Well, not way ahead, but too much ahead of time. And that should go away, right? I already... Oof, it didn't. Uh, sure. US, give me more steel. Thank you! Ah, those are Siam troops. Right, I forgot about the CM troops. So I could bypass the Philippines. Which still would... Give me a war goal against British Malaya and the Dutch East Indies. Which would be a war against the Allies. Which probably results, as soon as the United States joins, I'm still at war with those guys anyways over here. Which is a bit meh. As soon as we have 600 tanks again, we do convert over another division. Our research of that one has been done, so we're gonna go right away to the next one. And we're gonna switch over to the f next level of fighters. And that's actually okay-ish. And I think I'm gonna train a couple of bicycles. But, yeah, save, update that. And... Rename it to Infantry Division, Cavalry Division, Mixed Brigade, Motorized Division, Mechanized Division, Paratrooper, nope. Uh, it's going to be a normal Infantry Division for the names, because that gives nice different names types. Update that, and Equipment. Oh, I can choose if I want to give them better or, or weaker equipment, actually. Well, you just take whatever is available. Right, train, and I want 24 of this. One, two, three, four. Of course, I'm a bit short on, yeah, support equipment again. That's okay. One should be trained out. Yeah, minus 1.5k. And we are short on steel again. God damn it. Only one factories for that one. Construction is still going on nicely. Aluminium thing kicked in though, so we are good on that. Oh, we could get some own steel over here. And some own oil. So yeah, let's get the steel. And the oil, because we are in need of those. Uh, upgrade the artillery again, because that will be helpful. And I'm still, if I go against uh, the Allies, right? You're part of the Allies, yes. Would we'll take out the Dutch East Indies, so we could go for Australia and just bypass the Philippines for now, at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay. Stay in your own. Control your own army. I still could ask for troops, request forces. I could request how many? 34 forces, if necessary. And I can also request forces from Siam. Uh, oh no! 
Oh, no, you are an ally. You are not. Yes, I see. You're not a puppet of mine. Right, right, right. Uh, air fleet focus. Then we can go into the zero. It would actually be nice if that works. Uh, I probably could train the tank divisions up a bit. Instead of converting another horsey division over to a tank division. Oh, we don't have the amount anyways. Um, sure, set them to training. And when we reach 600 horses, we reach 600 horses. Um, okay. Save it. Um, actually, I leave you with that. I just realized I've been recording for over 20 minutes again. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.